Hey guys, it's a new week, and that means it's time to talk about all the video games that are coming out. First up, 343 Industries grant Xbox One users the game they've been waiting for, Halo 5 Guardians. As a new threat emerges from the fringes of the galaxy, Master Chief and his Spartan squad mates, Blue Team, disappear. Faced with growing questions over their loyalty, the UNSC dispatches Spartan Jameson Locke and his unit, Fireteam Osiris, to locate them and solve the mystery of their disappearance before the solar system is overrun. Whose side are you on? One of the most anticipated games of the year is yours to claim on the 27th. Divinity Original Sin Enhanced Edition is landing on consoles this week, and publisher Focus Home Interactive has released a new trailer that shows off the game's interface, which has been redesigned for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The split-screen multiplayer looks functional and fun. Visual and audio effects have been improved, and every single line in the game is now voiced. It's all been retooled to work with your Xbox One or PS4 controller, so don't worry about that. And if you've ever been too intimidated by the skill tree to give this game a whirl, now is the time. Don't you know Kevin Van Ord loved this game? I put all my RPG trust into that man. It's out on the 27th. Also this week, we get WWE 2K16 and it's gonna feature the largest roster in the game's history, featuring over 120 unique playable characters, nearly double 67 that were in last year's. There's no loading screens between entrances, and players have the ability to attack other wrestlers during their entrance, so it's all game once you enter. And I know you were curious, hair physics and sweat features have been improved. Ah, you can really see the sweat. You're down for the count on the 27th. Also, because it's Halloween week, you might want a few creepy games. So here's a few options. There's Albert and Otto. That's out on October 28th on PC, Mac, and Linux. Also consider the nightmare-inducing Bulb Boy. That's out on the 29th for PC. And obviously, you can't have a list like this without mentioning the game that came from the nightmares of Edmund McMillan. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. And that's out on the 30th. Finally, there's The Park, Funcom's single player psychological horror experience. Set in an abandoned amusement park, you're following the story of a mother named Lorraine, whose son has run off. It quickly becomes clear that sinister forces are afoot, and you're already in a spooky park. After dark, once it's closed, it's not good. That child is super dead. Just get out of there, Lorraine. Get out, because that's out on the 27th. If you like scary games, but you're too afraid to play them, you should check GameSpot out this week, because I believe there's going to be some House of Horrors reappearing, and I think I'm going to stream a spooky game myself, so stay tuned. For further details, visit GameSpot.com. Release dates are based on retailer listings and are subject to change. Happy Halloween! Oh, very quickly. <laughs> oh my god, no! <laughs>